Good morning, Arctic. Oh, we're moving. We're moving, yeah. I thought that that stuff was coming back. Unreal. Good morning everybody, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome to the Arctic, we're in Greenland. It is day four uh, of our 18 day voyage. I think if you've watched the last couple of vlogs then you'll know that we are headed further north and things are getting colder, way more icy. And today we've stopped at a little town just over there, which we saw when we came in. And we're surrounded by a couple of bits of ice, a couple of mountains. We're actually gonna be heading over there now in the Zodiacs and having a little explore around. But it's a beautiful day. There's not a breath of wind and everybody is excited to go. These are the Zodiacs that we cruise around in. These are the cranes that lift them into the water. Look at this massive basher of an iceberg. I don't know if you can see the perspective, but like, that's, that's huge. I wish there was like a, a boat going by it so you could see, because the boat would literally be like that big. That's the Zodiac right now. Morning. How are you? Just slides up. It'll be pretty straightforward. Uh, then we're still gonna do the sailors grid. Morning, Mr. Kellner. Morning. How are you? Good. It's a beautiful day today. We got our first like really bright sunlight. So no wind. No wind. Water was very still last night. So we got some good sleep. Yeah, that was no boat rocking at all. Zero. Yeah, I felt like I was back on land. Kind yeah. of. We're at a little town for this morning. And then I think we go to a beach on the Zodiacs and have our first water landing later today. So I'm pretty excited about that. In case you're wondering, this little town is called Umanak. Population seven. I don't know how to say it. I don't know. It's just quite a small town. We a few more people than seven, but yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's tiny. Somewhere around there. But it's beautiful. We made it to the top. Great view of the town from up here. A great view of like the whole bay actually gives you a good perspective when you can see now the size of the ship versus the size of the icebergs and like the bigger one is actually way behind the ship as well drone flight going on and these guys are learning how to be drone pilots who wants to go me, 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 me. okay just carefully though so push this one forward is it going Okay, just don't crash it, yeah? Because I've only got a spare one. 
You see it? Tell you what, he's got the hang of that thing already. Yeah, it seems like he has. And me. That's it. Come <laughs> on, Come on, Come on, we got time. We got time. These guys are having a great time. Are you sure? It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Is that us? Hey, do do one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, we got it back alive. But now, how do we get those off? High fives all around. Nice. Good work. My name is Ben. Super fun drone flight. And these guys have made my day. These guys are cool. Great drone pilots as well. These, these kids are so polite. They're awesome. Is this a shortcut? Is this your school? Yeah. This is your school, hey? Yeah, school. school. Cool. Well, how do I get back to my boat? <laughs> the guys are just taking me to their school. That's all right. I think we've got time. Which way to the boat, guys? Bye. See you guys later. Bye -bye. I gotta go. Bye. Can I have my drone, please? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the ride. Just woke up from a monumental nap, but now I need coffee. Do you want anything? Um, I need the caffeine. My review of the coffee on board is about three out of ten, but the view is a solid 10 out of 10 for sure we have icebergs we're hoping that we're gonna the captain's gonna steer us into an iceberg which is a strange thing to hope actually <laughs> considering the history of boats and iceberg but this is an icebreaker and the, the um, right down here right underneath us the hull is over 40 centimeters thick so we should be totally fine we do hit an iceberg and in fact we're hoping to find some sheets of ice that we're going to be carving right through over the next couple of weeks i cannot get over the amount of icebergs and the sheer size of them and where we're heading there's just more and more and more it's i'm kind of fascinated by them i want to know how long they've been here i mean the ice is hundreds of thousands of years old because it's Icebergs are carved off of the face of the glaciers around here, but where, like I point at one and I'm just thinking, where are you from? 
how long have you been here? Like, do they spend a week in this fjord, or a month, or like two years? Many questions. I need to find out the answers. I just poked my little head out of the window, and we're in some crazy field of ice. This is the most ice we've had so far. Look over there. And we're kind of just like navigating through. Uh, but we're gonna go down onto the deck to have cocktails with the captain or champagne with the captain or something with the captain. I feel like we're definitely gonna be hitting some of these pieces of ice. Yeah, we're definitely so. gonna hit some here. Yeah. Wait, just oh, shit. pretend pretend we're not late. Those of you who've been up on the bridge, there's so many people Oi. out there, so many people who look authoritative. Oh, thank you. We have one offices on now on the bridge. We <laughs> 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 leave the ship now between the iceberg. <laughs> Instead of me. <laughs> Captain's rocking that hat though. All right, so he looks much better in it than I do. Cheers, some more ice. <laughs> and a seagull. I feel like I'm never gonna get bored of it. I know. I know, yeah. No, this is like, this is literally my favorite thing in the world. Arctic yeah. expeditions. Well, like, my, when people dream of like tropical beaches, I dream of this. So, this is everything I want. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna hit that iceberg. Job ever. Do you have much helicopter time? A uh, fair amount. Yeah. Second best job. <laughs> You're gonna guess what the first best job is. Obviously, <laughs> astronaut. Turns out we're a bit closer than I thought to the glacier. Yeah. Sure. Found yeah. it. Yeah, I thought we were going to that glacier. We're not. We're going. We're going to. We're going to the big one. How good is that? <laughs> That's great. That was amazing. I know. <laughs> that was so low. I know. That was the, the, the sweet. That wasn't the real world. What was it like the real world? How low did we get on that? It was incredible. <laughs> we were below, uh, below. 
below the surrounding territory. That's amazing. She was in the front. Isn't this just the most surreal trip? This is actually surreal. Yeah. Like, we're not playing up at all on the vlog. No, <laughs> this is legit. This is insane. I mean, hopefully the, the video footage will kind of give you a little glimpse. But we're right along the glacier, tipping right through like... The we ice. were below the tops yeah. of it sometimes. So it's those Russian pilots that have no fear <laughs> yeah. at all. I like that in a pilot. Yeah, me too. I just hope we're doing it justice, like the whole experience. Yeah. yeah. I had three cameras on that, the 1D shooting both video and photos. I had the 5D SR shooting photos and I was doing a little bit of vlogging as well. All right, let's check them out. Look, we're just pushing these like minibus size pieces of ice out the way. No problem. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say um, top 10 day of my life. Top 10 day of my life today. Yo. Alright, let's get a bit. The highlight of the day was actually the kids flying the drone. That was really fun. They were so sweet and hopefully, I don't know, maybe that just might have planted a seed or two of something positive, I don't know. I feel fantastic for not being on the internet. And I know that's kind of maybe a little bit contradictory of my whole position, what with relying on the internet for my career, but I can't lie to you guys, I feel amazing. I feel like I'm having great conversations with people that would never have happened if I was just like checking my phone the whole time. So there's definitely, there's definitely something in that, getting off of the internet, like fully off of the internet with a bunch of people is very valuable. Anyway, incredible day. I will see you guys tomorrow for another incredible day. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys, goodbye. <laughs>